Coops, did you deserve more than what you ultimately got tonight? Yeah, I think we deserved the three points, if I'm being honest. I thought the second half display, um, we really got a battle with our football. Um, we created chances. We asked them to be brave on the ball and they did that. Um, there was just a moment for one second where the, a gap became too big and unfortunately we've been, we've been punished for it. You should have been ahead after half an hour, really. Yeah, we, we played some good stuff. We, we thought they initially came out of the blocks, which we thought they would. Um, there was an overload in midfield. Um, we, we, we coped with that and dealt with it. Um, then I think we got on top of that. And I think, like I say, second half, um, I was really proud of that performance, the way the composure, the way they got on the ball, the way they moved it, um, the way they drove it at the, at the Bolton defence and tried to get in behind them. Jordan Barry was, was sensational. Um, absolute team performance. Um, he ran his socks off. So I'm, I'm pleased, but obviously just disappointed we just didn't get that win. What did you say to the boys at half-time? Because that second-half performance, barring their late equalising goal, was the best of the season. Well, I mean, that's, that's probably not for me to say at the minute, but I mean, I was certainly, I was certainly proud of the, the second half. We, we had some words with him at, at half-time. It was just to say, look, you know, we, we had the numbers in the middle of the pitch. And once we, once we came to and got to grips with it, um, we, we were fine. Um, we just literally told them to believe in what they've been doing in the last um, few days in, in, in the training. Um, and like I say, some of, the, some of the football they played second half was, like you say, Steve-O, for, if that's the best of the season, then, then fair play to the lads. In the last five, ten minutes, was there just a, a natural inclination to try and protect that one goal advantage as opposed to going for another? Well, I mean, you you got to look at it one or two ways. Sometimes Nick, Nicky's ran, him, ran himself in, into into the ground, so so Jamie Reid comes on. George Maris had a fitness test this morning. Um, actually got off a treatment table this morning with, with his thigh. So as has been doing some work as a as a holding midfield player, um, and obviously Mel Benning's first first game back. Um, you know, it was a it was a super typical Mel Benning performance. What he's played for this football club, I thought I thought Mel Benning was outstanding. You can't really legislate for that equalising goal, can you? In the dying minute, somebody just losing their man. You, you, you must be. Yeah, well, I if mean, you had in I, it here, you'd be tearing it out. Yeah, I mean, I, th I think the more I've, I've actually seen it back, it, the, I think a gap's actually got too big. Rather than someone losing a man, or, or, or um, I ain't going to stand there and point fingers at the players. At the end of the day, we, we, we've came here as a team and we, we'll leave here. And, you know, we, we can look at it and obviously try and put that right on the, on the, on, on the training ground. Um, you know, but it's it's just I'm just gutted that we just didn't get that win. Yeah, was that just nerves creeping in at the end, or a lack of concentration? I know, maybe. I, it probably probably is a concentration thing. Um, I, I do think it's probably a positional um, positional probably problem we, we we had in that in that little period. Um, if we see that out, no no doubts, we we probably going to win the game, Steve. I'm just, I'm just gutted for the lads in there because they've given me and the staff absolutely everything. Over these um, last few days, everything we've asked of them, they've been professional, they've been on it. Like you say, you have players coming off treatment tables. Jordan Barry ran his socks off today. Um, if he plays like that week in, week out, for me, he'd be, he'd be in anyone's team. What have you done on an individual basis to lift these boys? Because they're clearly playing with more freedom and confidence to a week ago when they were mullered at home to Barrow. I think all you can do is try and lift them, try and support them. and I think that's what we've done. Um, all the staff, it's just, a, it's just been a constant support for the lads and trying to reassure them, get them to believe in themselves and, and hopefully then they can get that confidence. And like, like you say, the, the, the second half, I was, I, was, I was proud of it. I, I think it, we, we, we put a market down on the, on, on the game. Some of the football they played was, was, was outstanding. Coops, this may well be your final game in caretaker charge. If it is, with what pride do you hold from the... Uh, from the job that you've done? Yeah, I'm proud of you. Like you say, it would be nice to have got that win. If, 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 if we've done one thing as a staff and is, is to try and instil some belief into them, in, into the players. Um, ho hopefully we've, we, we've done that. I thought it was my sort of responsibility to, to step up when the chairman and, and David asked me to do it for the, for the few days. So, yeah, I'm, I'm proud of, of, of the work we try to do. Um, like you say, but just Deep down, I'm not going to lie to you, I wanted to win a game of football. And what type of group do you leave to the new manager? Well, hopefully it's a group that is um, he's going to start believing in itself a little bit more um, and, and just have that, that, that belief, in, belief in everything they do. 
um, that, that, that confidence. Um, those moments they've got to learn from, 100%. They've, they've got to learn from that. You get into seconds from winning a football match, they've, they've got to learn. So if, if, if that gets improved now, then, then hopefully we, we go and get our, our first win for the football club. And you know, there's, there's no one more than myself who wants to see that. Coops, you've really steadied the ship over the last week and it's a great credit to you. Thank you. Thanks Cheers. for your time. Thanks a lot, Steve. -o. Cheers. Thanks a lot.